Hi, I'm Dean Naidu and welcome to Tipsy Time. Welcome back to another episode of Tipsy Time. Today I have a wonderful surprise. My brother has moved to Johannesburg and I'm very excited. One of my brothers. So since he's from Durban and since he loves crab curry, we're going to do good old fashioned crab curry. My mother's style. So there's going to be a, a, a bit of a difference to the popular Durban crab curry. But I promise you guys, if you try this, you're going to love it. So let's start. So let's start. So we're getting some oil into our pot. I'm using a big pot because I've got three kgs of crab, about two teaspoons of cumin seeds, and about a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Next, some curry leaves. I love the taste of curry leaves and the smell of curry leaves. It's amazing. So we're gonna get that to just flavor our oil. Next we'll get in, I got about three or four uh, green chilies here. So we'll add that in. I'll slice them in half because we want all the all that heat there. It's crab curry. Okay, it's been frying for, uh, for about two or three minutes. So now we'll add in two sliced onions. So we're gonna need to get these onions to a translucent state and then we'll continue. Now that our onions are nicely translucent, we're gonna get in our crab, yummy crab. It smells amazing, even uncooked. Three tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. A nice mix. Crab always will remind me of Durban uh, because to me, honestly, in South Africa, the best crab comes from, from Durban. And you can go around, you can get blue crab and green crab and whatever it is, but these orange crabs from Durban are the most amazing tasting crab. It just makes me feel at home. We let that fry for about 10 minutes. Oh, it smells like crab. Beautiful. Crab curry should be spicy, but for me personally, I like it hot but it must be flavorsome. So you gotta get that right balance between heat and flavor. Okay, so next I'll go in with about two and a half tablespoons of Kashmiri chili powder. And then a heaped teaspoon of my favorite masala, Madras. Heaped teaspoon of leaf masala. I'll give that a quick mix. And then I've got about 12 tomatoes, which I've pureed in my blender. So we'll add that. So next we'll season it with some salt, some black pepper crushed. And we're gonna add in one teaspoon of tamarind concentrate. We get it in there. A lot of people like extra tamarind in crab curry but I prefer the sweetness of the crab. So I'm gonna get in the tamarind for the flavor, but I do not want it to be sour. I want it to be sweet and spicy. Quick mix. So we're gonna let our crab cook now for 20 minutes and then we'll come back. So it's been 20 minutes. And now we're going to put my, my mother's, my mama, Salosh Naidu's special coconut cream because this gives that gravy an incredible taste. We're looking at about four to five tablespoons. And I promise you guys, try it. It's amazing. So we got the coconut cream in and we're just going to give this a quick stir. So you can see the gravy looks creamier, thicker. And this is how I tasted crab curry in my life. So five minutes, 
Now, after the cream is in, and then we're ready to eat. Got my brother and obviously my wife, and it's time to rock some crab, guys. So there is obviously no um, what's the word? easy way to eat this with your pencil. Exactly. You gotta do it with your hand. You have to. Gotta do it the right way. It's hard. It's hard, especially with crab. <laughs> Just normally. Just taste that. The most important thing about crab is the gravy part. Agreed. <laughs> but now you have to buy this and you know, let's start to buy your Go for it. That's how you eat crab. And these orange crabs from Durban, you're right, absolutely the best. You know what I love about this crab? It's not caro. You know, every every time you have crab mm -hmm. curry, it's always like hot. This is like perfect. It's like it's tasty and got so much of flavor. But I must say, it's still got that nice bite. No, it must have a bite. It's flavor, a balance. That's what I was talking and about. Then that balance. Nice bite at the end. 